I burned I burned my hand on the oven and it looks kinda like the Star Trek symbol. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Trials. You're talking about burns. So you burned your I, hand and it looks like oh, the Star Trek symbol? You ever done that before? Like I was warming up my pizza in the oven because mm -hmm. I don't like microwave pizza because that's gross. Yeah. I, I, and, um, I feel you. So I was pulling it out of the oven and like it was like, okay, it's not hot enough yet. And then I I I I miss a, I I I miss I underestimated my trajectory mm -hmm. for how to come mm -hmm. out and I went too high and I touched directly onto one of the heating coils on the top of the oven. Oh. Ow. Nice. That's the right word. And it hurt. It wasn't very it was only on like 170 I think so it wasn't that bad. Mm -hmm. But it's still it's still owied. My sister burned her arm on something when she was working at McDonald's, and like uh -huh. the like it scarred over, and so like when her arms like just extended outwards, it looks like oh, it's just like two eyes and like a mouth that's just like wait, mm. how badly did it burn her? That looked a scar. I've never had a burn that bad. Well, it did something. I don't. I don't know. It looks. You could. You could see it for a while, but it probably scabbed over. It might not be as bad now, but like you could see it. And that's like a second degree burn. Maybe, I don't know. But she uh rough. she when he, when she bends her arm it smiles. Oh, I had a smiley face scar for a while. I don't know if I ever showed it to you. It's kind of hard to see now since it's been a bit it's been a little bit. Mm -hmm. But me and my sister were were fucking around because you know, we were kids or whatever. Mm -hmm. And we ha I had a old like rickety metal bed frame. It's not not really a rickety, but it's like a, you know one of those exposed metal bed frames. Oh god. You just put your yeah. bed on top of. Yep. You know the the child killers. Yep, I've had one of those before. And she pushed me down by accident and I fell on it and like my arm hit it in like five different places in such a way that it that it made like two little eyes, like two little crooked eyes, <laughs> a big old nose and a smile. And the way I fell. Out of coal. Like if I if I if I point it out to you, you can kind of see it. You can see the nose really well because the nose went really deep. Mm -hmm. But like the two eyes are kind of hard to see now, and like the smile you can't really see anymore. Uh -huh. It's 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 my favorite scar. Can we can we talk about this room? Oh, oh the chickle. Isn't this cool? And it's such a, it's such a nice. Uh, everything in this game the is great. The atmosphere of this game is so what good. I, what I did a lot. What I did a lot in, in Spy Fox is I legit. I, I've played this game like a million times now. Mm -hmm. But like, I what I used to do a lot, even when I was a kid, I would just go into the rooms and just look at everything. It's awesome. Like it's like, so I, good. Like I spent a lot of my time in the humongous team just clicking everything, just because I liked hearing all the all the things, all the all the all the sayings, and seeing all the stuff. Yeah. But even but that just gave me time to just look at things like, like look at the freaking look at the freaking everything in here. Yeah. Just look at, like it's all so well designed and so well just put together. Even like the the like the cheap like foreground stuff, mm -hmm. like the weird animation. Like it it's all just great. The way they made it is just beautiful. You see the chasm, the smoke down there and stuff. Like no, it's it's all great. It's just perfectly made, mm -hmm. and that, like the little gag stuff is beautiful. Just just everything that they did in this game was done right. Yep, like there's there's so much cool. I love I love these this game especially like uh, just in terms of environments and all that. It's just it's so so good. Isn't, isn't this the the last humongous game they made? This is the last. Yeah, I want to say. As far as like the the adventure games go, probably. I'm like not their their last sure. game in the, their their last like game in this fashion was this one, right? I believe so. Yeah. So like, if they're so concerned about the ozone going away, why don't they just go to freaking Anarcha or whatever? Because I don't know. Hey guys. Hi. Sorry about that. Um, we're I wanted, back. I, want, I wanted to sound smart for a minute. But gonna, okay. Oh well, you know, whatever. You can be As smart cool. in the blooper reel. Blooper reel. I is, is there go that way? Is there, is there ever, has there ever been a blooper reel? A blooper wheel? Uh, has there ever been a, been a blooper reel in a movie where, like, instead of something something silly happening, it's been like like an actor just got like insanely real for a minute? Yeah, it's like we can't have that <laughs> in the film, Joe. He's like, he's like, he's like, he's like in a like freaking a like Stuart Little or whatever. Like, like when, like when the can rolled over Stewart's parents in the in the supermarket, like, and then like they they're talking to Stewart like, 
like it, they were just devastated. They 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 lived for another two weeks, paralyzed <laughs> from the neck down, and they begged us to pull the plug, but I just I couldn't <laughs> do it. <laughs> oh my god. Like, just like, there's like something like that. Something real. Like, I want, I want to like, take a kids movie, and like, or like, like kids movies, and make them like really real. Like, I, I, I want the, I want the gritty reboot for Stuart Little. I want the gritty Spy Kids reboot. A gritty Spy Kids reboot, I'd actually watch. Because like the parents get like fucking executed in front of them in their house, and like they have to escape. And there's like people shooting at them, and they have to like make it to their uncle, and they're like Are emotionally gonna... distraught. Are you still gonna have the thumb monster? The thumb monsters? No, I wouldn't do that. I'd make them like oh. weird. I'd make them like weird zombie creatures, though. I, I. So Machete is still gonna be the uncle, though, right? Oh, he's gotta be. He's a fucking badass. Is he, is he gonna have sex with, with Alexa Vega? No, because it's still Spy Kids. You fucking weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> but like, but like, that's what he does in his movies. He had sex with with. With Lindsay Lohan and her mom in one movie. Dude, I had sex with Lindsay Lohan. Come on, that's not hard to do. And her mom at the same and, time? And her mom. Okay. <laughs> Especially her mom. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought it was weird, because like in the, in this game when I was a kid, my first time playing it, I was like I was like I I, I think I, I wanna say I was like five or six years old uh -huh. playing this game. I always did a pre I did not understand because he said you had to swing from um you need to find a strong enough branch to swing to swing across. So I was, I was clicking around on branches, and I noticed, wow, this branch looks really weird. And then I just clicked that, and I swung, and I'm like, wow, this game has different things. And then it helped me become more observant. I realized that sentence has next to nothing to do with anything. No, it, it was just with the game, at least. It it does, but like it, it, I don't know. I like the way that in these games you can you you can always look at the background and see what's different, mm -hmm. and then you know what's actually going to be interacted with. That's when I start noticing in cartoons, like uh, say Scooby Doo or whatever. Yeah. Like you know how uh, they would try to scare you or like startle you a little bit with the monster being in the background, mm -hmm. but you can always tell he was about to move. Yeah. Because like he wasn't drawn the same way the background yeah, was. Yeah. It's, like, it's like when it's like on a bookshelf and they take a book out. Like the bookshelf is drawn, but like there's a thing kind of like the books are like obviously like oh like, that book's gonna move. Like the individual book is animated when yeah. the other ones aren't. Yeah. <laughs> I this, hate that. This shit. game, this it's game is jarring. what made me realize. Like this game is what re made me realize that oh that's a thing because of that branch right there. Really, that because branch looks like it's perfectly in the background to me. I mean, not the background, but in the foreground at least. Like it looks it, no, like it it's fits. very it's working on the foreground. But you see how the the animation lines are really thick compared to everything else everything else around it. Yeah, like you look at the branch, you look at the branch, the branches in the back are drawn with with brown lines instead of black lines. What Every, donut did he want? Oh fuck. He wanted the the salami. Don't believe me. I you did. Better, I wasn't you better be sure. fucking right. I've got no choice. Oh, if I'm right, I'm gonna throw a party. I love the music in this place, though. The no, it's I, I hate to keep saying I like it, but I like it. No, I love it's everything. Good. I like that you like it. I love this, this game, dude. I would totally eat some fucking pizzas here, dude. Right? Doesn't it just look awesome? Isn't this, that this... awesome music? I would love to go to the donut version, honestly. I, I, you know, I'd of say. Of course you would, Joey. I, I'd say I like donuts more than I like pizza. What? Are you implying that pizza's healthier than donuts? I'm implying that yes. No. How are donuts healthier than pizza? I'm saying they're just as bad for you. They're not. Yes, they are. No, ma'am, they're pizza, not. Pizza is just dough. Covered in grease, cheese, and sauce. What? No. Various other toppings. <laughs> yes. Pizza is. A, and donuts a... are sugary dough covered in chocolate and sprinkles and all kinds of different things like and salami that's sprinkles. They they are just as unhealthy as pizza. <laughs> okay, what did he if want? He... I want to be right. He's an, is he an albatross? He's a seagull. Oh, I don't like he seagulls. He wants the gravy. Seagulls I'm are like Stanley the... Stanley Seagull, an intrepid adventurer, whatever the fuck he said. Se seagulls are one bird I wish would die. Seagulls? Like, yeah, I don't like seagulls. Hey, can we talk about seagulls for a second? All right, so yeah. if you're in a parking lot or a beach or something, and you throw out a fry. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Throw out a fry, like, for the seagulls. They all, like, murder each other for and it? And 
Yes. No, no. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing. You throw one to one lone seagull, right? Yeah. And that seagull then alerts his friends that someone threw a french fry towards him and then that yeah. same dumb motherfucker is now fighting over it because he alerted them that there was the f- fucking fry there that is a thing i also i hate them because whenever i go fishing because i go fishing by the sea a lot uh, they yeah always, i, I they, imagine they find a way to steal my bait I don't know. I have covered buckets. I I've put blankets in those. I've alert. I've put it in my car. Of course, with the windows down because you know I make bad life choices. They just find a way to steal. I've had a seagull in my car steal a fish, Joey, and fly off. You have to become a master baiter. <laughs> tomorrow on Try Hearts, everyone, we masturbate. Seagulls. Tomorrow on tomorrow on Try Hearts, we have more highbrow humor like that. 